everybody out there. This is Udeshi Singh from Smarter. And today I am welcoming you to the third video of the Git and GitHub tutorial series. The agenda for this video is to fork a repository and maintaining the fork and updating it with the master repository using the local, I mean the desktop version of GitHub. So let's get on with our business. First of all, let me tell you what exactly is a fork or forking a repository means. According to GitHub documentation, a fork is a copy of a repository. Forking a repository allows you to freely experiment with the changes without affecting the original product. Most commonly, forks are used to either propose changes to someone else project, which you can do by pulling the by using pull request, which I will be telling you in the next video. But forks are used to, to either propose changes to someone else project or to use someone else project as a starting point for your own idea. Well, uh, if you have to propose changes, you have to fork repository, make the fix, or, or what we programmers say, make a patch, and then submit a pull request to the project owner. Well, now, so now let's focus on how to fork a repository. There you go. Suppose I go to overview. Or is it in the sorry? Uh, go to your just sign into your GitHub account and discover repositories. And suppose I have to just see, uh, I like TensorFlow models and I have not yet, uh, what do I say, forked it. So, how do you fork a repository? You just go to the main repository which you like. But I like this one. I Hit this fork and I fork it into my account VDS 500. And then I wait. It should not take much time. Well, it also depends on how big your repository is. Now, this is your local repository. This UDS 501 slash model. This is a fork. From the original repository, which was stored, which was hosted in TensorFlow slash models. Now, as you may see, it has no pull request projects because it's your copy of this original uh, project. Now, as you can see, it's uh, so far updated. You can do whatever you want with this repository. The branches, even with TensorFlow or Master, which means you have not changed anything, or the TensorFlow's master branch has not been yet changed. And if you have to create new file, you can create a file and everything. But I'm not going to show it right now. This is basically how you make, how you fork a repository. If you have to get this repository from somewhere else, you can go to repositories and you can search for TensorFlow. No. Where are you, TensorFlow? Just a second. Should be right here. Okay. Something's awkward here. I cannot see my TensorFlow repository. TensorFlow models. There you go. This is the repository. Okay. Now, as I said, this was the forking idea. Well, it has been forked, and now, if you have to um, maintain this fork, now let me tell you what exactly is maintained. I would be Looking at some another repository, and I will go back to overview repositories. And just let's just see um, Electron. Okay, so you can see that uh, it's a cross platform desktop apps with, desktop apps with JS, HTML, and CSS. And let me tell you that Visual Studio Code, Atom, and everything it has been built above Electron APIs. Well, basically that's just dev stories. Anyways, 
So what if you have to maintain this repository? As you can see, the branch is 263 commits behind Electron Master. What if you have to uh, merge it, equal it with Electron Master? So what are you going to do? First of all, well, I'll be opening my git bash and this original repository is a git bash. Go to your mm, uh, repository where you wish to store the clone. I'm going to stay on desktop, git project tutorial. And I'm going to just clone this repository here. And I would say, of course, git clone. Oops, git clone. And paste. Cool. It would be cloning into Electron and it may take a while. This I would also be uh, giving you the link. Uh, it's actually GitHub. Uh, it's actually mentioned in GitHub documentation on the steps which I'm going to perform. So I would be giving you the link in the description for the same. In case I'm not audible or I'm not really clear enough. Uh, come on. 60%. It's kind of not exactly slow, but it's not. It could be better. Could be better. Oh, come on. It's almost done. Yeah, it's done. Now enter electron. Yeah. As you can see here, you are in the master branch, right? So get checkout master perfect now what i want you to do is enter git pull and this is the original repository where it was hosted i want you to get copy this ssh link and paste it here and wait Uh, see, these are the commits which has been made so far. These are the, basically these are the 263 commits with the pluses and minus. Like pluses indicates the number of uh, lines which have been added in these particular uh, files, and negatives decides number of files which have been number of lines which have been deleted. And uh, Look at this guy, he's, he's been from the anyways. Yeah, now since it has been pulled and it has been merged, so what I'm going to do is uh, just confirm it first. Git merge already up to date, perfect, and then git push origin master. Of course, sorry, sorry. I would say get push origin master and wait. It's a large file. It must take a while. And there you go. Now you go back to your repository here. It was originally 263 commits behind Electron Master, and now you can refresh it to see that it is now even with Electron Master. So basically, what we did was update that we updated our fork our fork repository with the one with the master and that's how you do it and in the next uh, video I would be showing you how to make pull requests uh, change others files and maintain pull requests through it and how to accept others pull requests for your own pull requests from other branches in your master in the master branch of the repository I would be telling you in the next video and so do like share and subscribe if you like the video and um, also, one more announcement. In case you have any coding doubts, any coding challenge you would like to throw at me in JavaScript or Python, I'm ready to take it up. So, show me what you got. Till then, have a nice day. Good night.